Is it a bus? Is it a train? Or is it a plane? No, it's just Darby Allen sitting in New York City feeling a lot of pain. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. Darby Allen, Keanu Reeves, eat your heart out. Maybe he was auditioning for Speed Free, but whatever the reason was, Darby Allen and his latest stunt was hit by a bus in New York City, and it probably didn't feel as bad as half the bumps that he's taken in AEW. Absolutely not, and I think God's telling us something. He just doesn't want Darby Allen to climb Mount Everest. Yeah, he doesn't. He thought he was going to climb Mount Everest. He decided he couldn't because he had a broken foot, and I guess he decided to climb all over a bus instead. So, Darby Allen has suffered, obviously, a broken foot. He did it in his match against Jay White. He had to postpone his Mount Everest trip. So he's been relaxing at home, I guess, although he's probably still doing some daredevil shit. And the fact that Sting's gone it almost felt like there wasn't really a reason to have Darby Allen around anyway. So he has been away from AEW for a while. However, he uploaded to social media today to let us all know that he has been hit by a bus. Darby Allen crossing the street, had a broken foot. Not sure whether he couldn't get out of the way in time, but he couldn't avoid the bus. The bus hit him, and it looks like it may have uh, broke his nose because you can see he's all like his nose is all bandaged up. There's blood coming out of both nostrils. The nose looks very enlarged, so that would tell me that he probably has a broken nose. So I don't know if he's face planted the bus or if the bus has just drove into his face or. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised if Darby Allen was trying to pull off some sort of stunt in New York City. On and he, a skateboard. And he, he's made an ass of it. But either way, he's sitting here now with a big, what looks like a broken nose. I think like he stood too close to the bus on the sidewalk. The and pavement. It, and it slightly just skimmed him. Possibly. Or could have been the mirror or maybe. I mean, he, he didn't really go too much into detail. Now, Mick Foley on Instagram did uh, make a message. He obviously addressed this, he says, Get well, Darby, sending positive thoughts and a healing prayer for Darby Allen, who was struck by a bus in New York City while walking across the street with a broken foot. Despite the collision, Darby somehow still made it to his Broadway show that night. He is one tough dude. So he was walking across the street, therefore your method of him waiting on the bus on the sidewalk and getting clipped on the nose doesn't really... Took the windy then, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think your uh, I think your idea there is gone. Darby Allen also though made a post on Instagram and he said the following quote: "That awkward moment when you're crossing the street in New York City with a broken foot and get hit by a bus. Least I can have a good time with Raymond Pettibon and catch a Broadway show. LOL." Allen also shared a text message screenshot from Johnny Christ of the band Avenged Sevenfold. Christ asked. Quote, why were you running across the street? End of quote. Alan replied, quote, to get to the other side. End of quote. So, Great bit of banter there. Oh, why did the chicken cross the road? It's the um, two Ronnies. We, we, like, we, we don't know, but um, it just, I don't know. Like, you trying to tell me Darby Allen was crossing the street and the bus driver was speeding? And, um, broken foot or not, you shouldn't be getting hit by a bus. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this dipshits went here. Look at me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid this bus at the last moment or something. Out of all the people that could get hit by a bus, why is it this guy? Yeah, this daredevil, this stuntman. Really know. I mean, you know, I'm sure the bus has dash cams, like. But we'll Do you think have... it maybe was speed, and if the bus went under fifty, it exploded? If it was, if it was over fifty, this guy would have exploded into a million smithereens. He's lucky to be alive. He is lucky to be he alive. He weighs fifty pounds. Yeah, the bomb and speed weighed more. Fuck no shit. Anyway, that's it, guys. Darby Allen, uh, broken foot. Looks like he's now got a broken nose. The AEW ratings are broken. Is Darby Allen the way to fix them? Maybe Tony Khan will need to bring him back early. Who knows? Maybe the maybe he can get a broken beat down for the elite. Because I'm sure they hit like a bus. That was a quality bad banter there. Not really. Anyway, guys, that's it. Catch you in the next one. Been Fog Wrestling. Get well soon, Darby Allen. Even though we think you absolutely fucking suck. We don't wish any harm on... Uh, you know what? I mean, Darby Allen, he's probably one of the AEW wrestlers I kind of respect. Aye, because he... Just because of the, the, the shit that he actually does. He does some decent stuff. I mean, I'm not a Darby Allen fan, but you know what? I'll, I'll, 
I can respect. He's not a little bit. Well, he, he's got the physique of a little bitch, but he, he does quite a lot. Yeah, but the thing is, see if AEW had a roster that looked like men, you could forgive Darby Allen for being that one skinny guy that looks like a runt. Yep. But see when you've got Darby Allen, Orange Cassidy, and, and all these toothpicks, then I don't know. It doesn't make it makes Darby Allen just look normal, what and he's not doing? normal. But anyway, guys, that's it. At least he's alive. He's breathing. He didn't die. It's good news here on Fog Wrestling. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then. Peace.